We always supported breast cancer organizations over the years in the salon that we owned, and we just really felt like we wanted to do more. And Carol Slomsky was a client, and she had just gone out on her own, and you know, we got to talking about it, and she wanted to do more, so we came together, and it was like, it's just time. We just knew that it was. The story that got us on the path that we're on is a story that was at the very beginning when we were brainstorming, and it was about a patient who had come in for a second opinion, and the second opinion was that she definitely had breast cancer. And she started to cry, and the doctor was consoling her, and she says, you know, but a year ago I had a job, and a year ago I had health insurance, and now you're telling me I have breast cancer? and I have nothing to help myself. So it's the people who slip between the cracks that are the people that we're trying to help. With the financial grants that come through It's a Breast Thing, a woman can use that money for anything she needs that will help her in her current situation. We have people who can't come to their chemotherapy because they can't afford gas. There's a lot of people out there that need financial support. In any way, the people that can get the grant through It's a Breast Thing. I mean, that's huge for people. We get such amazing feedback from the individuals who've received their grants. They tell us things like, I don't know what I would have done without that grant. I've had some young patients who've come back and they've been impacted by the program and they've come back and they've actually given testimonials about how wonderful It's a Breast Thing is. To have something out there that can help them with these expenses, these out-of-pocket expenses that otherwise they wouldn't be able to have. The best thing about It's a Breast Thing is that it offers a little stress relief for women going through breast cancer. But it's also a community support for breast cancer patients. And that's a beautiful thing, to have the community know that you're there for them. But this is really related to mid-Michigan. It's home, and they're helping people that are our neighbors. You know, we've talked about the concrete help that it gives, but the events themselves bring our community together. It's amazing for women to look around and see all these survivors and their friends and their family being involved. They don't feel as alone. They know that there's many women out there working with this disease, coping with it, surviving. That's powerful. Every year there's more and more people there and word of mouth has made it spread and it's become one of the community events to look forward to every fall. And it's a group that actually has fun together. They, they work hard all year. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into the It's a Breast event and they work hard at it all year and it's their passion. People come because it's different every year. And we have different themes with the bras, so that keeps it a little more interesting. And people come for the bras. They come to vote for their friend's bra. That's the fun part. And then they end it with the education and everybody has something to think about when they leave. Having a physician on board with us is absolutely key. They can kind of get into that whole medical world. and. Being able to tap into that is huge for helping It's a Breast Thing to grow. I've been able to come up with different themes every year to educate the community and I, I diagnose breast lumps every, you know, in patients, but I rely on the different healthcare providers in the community to um, help me educate the community. So I try to bring in the local experts and people look forward to that. Uh, the event is a lot of fun. The room just crackles with energy. The people who have decorated bras are there and they are absolutely intent on seeing how the voting has come out to see if their bra is going to have a place in the calendar. And every year we do a calendar where they're in a costume and they showcase the winning bras for that year. The calendars are a nice money maker um, for It's a Breast Thing too and a very fun thing. It's been a miracle just meeting all the people that we have met. Susie and I shake our heads all the time. It's like, wow, it's 10 years. Where did all that time go? It's been very educational, very rewarding. I mean, there are so many people in this community who 
need help, you know, far exceeding what we knew was out there. Barb and Susie and the rest of the board, the hearts are huge. And I just would love for even more of the community to know that the hearts are huge and to feel like uh, they want to just come along and come on board and join us and give back.